here's my next dice painting, dice customizing project. I'm also going to introduce my new tool today, the rotary tool. Just keep in mind that it's my first time using this thing, so there might be some mistakes that I make. The deal is this, I'm gonna customize these ones because I got a pretty good idea on what they should look like. First of all, I'm gonna paint the numbers blood red. Then I'm gonna add some, where is the 20, come on. Alright, here it is. I'm gonna add a scratch on 20 as if it's been scratched with a claw or something. One, I'm gonna paint it black. So without further ado, let's try and make this 20 scratched. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Truth be told, this looks okay, but smells awful. Uh, oh, damn. I'm surprised. Uh, well, these are the drill bits. And I'm gonna change the drill bit now, because this one doesn't serve its purpose anymore. Alright, so, I've changed the drill bit. This one, it looks like a pencil or something. Let me just make some more noise and try to make this scratch look better than it is. I hope. All right, this doesn't look good because the, the bit is spinning around all the way. It's not properly set. Oh, and there it goes. Luckily enough, didn't have much place to go. It seems that these drill bits that I bought separately are too narrow for this. See, it comes and goes inside as it wants. But this is tightened. All right, plan B. Luckily enough, I have this set that came with the original tool and it fits. So I'm just gonna make some more noise and make this scratch a bit better than it is. This seems kind of alright. It does look like a scratch, definitely. Anyways, I've got this color here and it says blood red, which it does look like. Water, my brushes. Let's try it out. Looks good. I hope you can see it because if I make it any closer, it's gonna be out of focus. better than the original one. I don't know, they always put golden numbers, oh, well, always, almost, always. Sometimes they just don't fit. I'm not gonna do the same thing as with the, the previous dice here. The previous ones, I've got them uh, sanded, but these ones, they're asking to remain glossy. Wow. The blood red is really bringing the numbers to life. Nice, nice, I like it. All right, let's paint number one and see how D20 looks like once I do that. Shake, shake, shake. Let's try it out. I just might mix together some of the red and some of the black and try to make a new color in order to cover the more tenacious numbers in a darker color. And I made a mistake too much. Black, too little red. Let's try it the other way. Red first. And just a wee bit of black second. Now it looks like coagulated blood. Well, let's try it out. So, number 17, you've got some issues. And let's see how it turned out. Hmm. No. It doesn't fit. Let's try and darken these scratches. It does actually look like coagulated blood. Yeah. 
It looks okay. This is gonna need some extra sanding. Yeah, definitely looks good. All right, until I paint the rest of them, camera off, and I'm gonna be right back. They're done, but these scratches are digging into the fingernails. So I'm thinking that I should take some of the sandpaper, take a little piece of it, and just try to sand it a little bit without damaging the surface around them. All right, so far so good. This one is the biggest problem right here. As much as I didn't like these ones when I got them first, I'm really excited about them right now. Look at them. They actually look like numbers have been painted in blood. I'm thinking of giving them a name. Maybe, I don't know, Milky Blood <laughs> or something like that. I was thinking that I maybe made a mistake by putting these grooves in, these scratches, because I might have uh, put it off balance. But now, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I don't think it's gonna make a significant difference. Just give it a little bit of red specks here and there, and it might be just right. Black is too dominant here. Don't like it all that much. Yep, that's what I was aiming for. I might do the same with number one. Let's try some red specks. Mm, too much. Mm, still too much. Now this looks okay. Yeah. I like this. These scratches, they really look as if it was torn apart. There's some paint leftovers around. But yeah. Really cool, really cool. The final reveal. <laughs> what do you guys think? I really like how they turned out. Red here, inside the grooves of the numbers, really looks like coagulated blood. And the rest of it looks like blood spilled in milk. Uh, while I was doing this, I've had the images in my head of this show that I watched on uh, National Geographic about a tribe in Africa having some sort of uh, ritual where they drink cow's milk with cow's blood mixed together. I don't remember the exact ritual but it just came to me. <laughs> Look at this 20. Scratched like being attacked by a, some sort of beast or something. Darkened 20 really gave it a punch that it needed. And the rest of the numbers they look really good. The rest of the dice, well, this number three here is a little bit invisible, but okay, it's the only one. And as for the rest of them, they all look really good. As you can see. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about these. And uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new to this channel. Also, there is links down below to my social media, so follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time and take care.